What's up guys? We're going to do the first five notes on our trombone today. So in the last uh, two videos, you saw how to set up your trombone and how to hold your trombone. Okay, so if you haven't watched the how to hold your trombone, you should probably watch that first. Okay, so holding your trombone properly, we're going to go over the first five notes that we're going to play in beginning band. So first thing is first, I'm going to go ahead and unlock my slide. Make sure that it's free. Okay. There are seven positions on your trombone. So I'm going to show them to you really quickly, even though we might not use them for our first five notes. Okay. So you have first position, which is where your slide is all the way closed. Okay. We'll call it, we can call it closed position, I guess. So first position. So this is one. Okay. Second position is right around here. I'm going to kind of turn it sideways so you can see how far out I'm going. And then third position is, I want to say, I usually tell my students, it's right where this bar that I'm holding the slide meets the bell. So that's about third position. Fourth position is where the edge of the slide right here, where it ends right here, meets the bell. So it's a little bit farther out than three. Fifth position is just farther out than four. Sixth position is, for my students, since I'm, I do elementary, this is probably as far as they can go, sixth position. And sometimes they, they can't go far enough, sixth position. And then seventh position is way up there, and that's the last position, seven. Okay, so there's seven, there's six, there's five, there's four, there's three, there's two, and that's one, okay? So today, the first five notes is actually only going to use four out of those seven positions, so I'm gonna show you. First one we're gonna start on is B flat, and it's first position, so close your slide all the way to make sure that it's not even out there, even a little bit, closed position, first position. So here's your B flat, we're gonna buzz. And that's your B flat. I'm gonna play B flat four times, tonguing my note. <laughs> See if you can play that with me. Okay, one, two, three, four. <laughs> that's our B flat. Okay, and that's our lowest sounding note for right now. So that one should be pretty easy to get. The next one is C. C is that sixth position. It's pretty much as far as uh, my students can go if you're in grades four, five, or six. So this is sixth position. This is C. So it's a little bit higher than B flat. So take a listen. So that's our C. I'm going to play C four quarter notes four times. You go ahead and play with me. C, one, two, three, four. That's our C, sixth position. Next one is our D. D is fourth position, so it's kind of where this edge, I'm going to turn real sideways here so you can kind of see the bell and you can see the slide. Fourth position. So again, we're getting higher. So this is our D. So I'm going to buzz a little bit tighter and faster air and really tongue your notes. Uh, start the note with your tongue. Ta, ta, ta. So you're saying two, two without your voice. Okay, but here's the D sound. So that's our D. So it sounds a little bit higher than our C. I'll play that four times, full quarter notes. Play with me. One, two, three, four. Okay. That was our D, fourth position. Next, we have our E flat. So we're going to close it just a little bit. We are in third position now. Third position is, if you can see, this, where the slide bar, where I'm holding it, meets the bell. So actually, if you stick your fingers out, I, you should be able to touch the bell right there. That's third position. This is E flat. Again, slightly higher than the last note. We keep getting higher. That's our E flat sound. I'm going to play four quarter notes on E flat. 
So this is first position F, and you probably remember that well B flat was first position also, but cool thing about brass instruments, you can make multiple pitches uh, on one position or one slide position, you can get multiple notes and multiple sounds. So that's where we're going to adjust our mouth. Okay, so this is our F, it's even higher than the E flat sound. Notice I was higher than the B flat, where it shared the same position. I'm going to play F four times, four quarter notes. Play with me. One, two, three, four. And that's our F, first position. So we had B flat. C. So if you can't get the F out, that's okay, but you can sort of play around with go, trying to get low sound, high sound, low sound, high sound. Okay, so if you can do that, you're doing an awesome job because all the notes in between uh, are in between the B flat and F. So if you can hit an F, you should be able to hit the C, D, and E flat. And again, when you're doing this, make sure you're looking at your book, Essential Elements for Band. You're on page four and five, and make sure it's important to see what note you're playing. So when we're playing songs, you can recognize um, the music notes as you play them. And obviously, you have to remember that B flat is first position, C is sixth position, D is fourth position, E flat is third position, and F is first position. Okay, so we have to be able to identify all of those notes on paper and remember the fingerings or I guess your slide positions for trombone uh, for those notes. And those are the first five notes on trombone.